Hello my lovely Taurus, how is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So we are going to be doing your January weekly reading. This is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open and everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my lovely Taurus, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. May they please find those who need to hear it. All right, Taurus, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you guys. All right, we have the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck for your general overall energy. You have the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the Temperance in the Reverse, and the Two of Swords. I feel like you're feeling a little bit indecisive or just trying to figure out what your next step should be in a situation. I do kind of feel like there's something that's been a little bit stagnant here. You have the Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, kind of stagnant energies. And um, the Knight of Pentacles is just something that is like trying to figure out what the next step is and making wanting to make the right decisions, but it's also an energy that can take quite some time. And I do feel like it's been like this for some time because you also have the temperance in the reverse, which kind of feels like to me like you could be losing your patience in a situation, right? There's something that you guys are really wanting and I feel like it's it's like just wanting it to happen sooner, right? It's like, I just want this. Um, you have the Queen of Cups here too. I feel like there could be somebody that you have a lot of love for, somebody here that you're missing, okay? And it's like you're, you're really wanting something to happen. You know, whether it's like you're wanting this person to come back or you're, you know, you're wanting something here. And I feel like it's been taking a while. I feel like you could be trying to figure out what to do with it here. What do I do next? What can I do? So let's take a look at their energy towards you, Taurus. Show me the person that Taurus is dealing with in this situation. What is their energy towards Taurus? Got the Empress that fell out. What is their energy towards Taurus? Show me the person that Taurus is dealing with in this situation. What is their energy towards Taurus, please? Got the Temperance there too. Pop now. All right, so we're going to take a look at their energy. How interesting. You guys both have the temperance in the reverse and both have the knight of pentacles okay i do feel like you know what you guys i feel like you're very intuitive taurus and i do feel like you can feel this person coming they are coming but man they are taking a long time <laughs> they are taking their sweet time but they are some of them could have been waiting for you to make some kind of move here with this temperance in the reverse showing up in their in their heart space or it could have just taken them a while to figure things out right um get the high priestess in the reverse which tells me that maybe they weren't listening to their intuition or maybe they weren't seeing things clearly before but something has been revealed to them here we are going to clarify this in a moment the queen of wands like i feel like they're recognizing what is going to make them happy because she knows what's going to make them happy and that's where she takes her action all of her actions are based on what is going to make her happy um she has grasping onto the sunflower and the sunflowers in the tarot are symbolic for our happiness right so I do, I feel like this person maybe just took a while to figure out what it is that they wanted or what, what it is that truly makes them happy, what it is that truly is, you know, that they truly value. I feel like there could have been some kind of muddy waters when it comes to that. Maybe they didn't realize it before. Maybe they weren't seeing things clearly before with that high priestess in the reverse. But I feel like that's what they're realizing now because that's showing up in their head space is realizing what is going to make them happy and what they want to do. The temperance card in the reverse, they could feel like there's been a lot. Sometimes the temperance card can speak about moderation. So in the reverse, it can feel like something that's like an excessive amount or something that has been too much. They could have worried that too much has happened or maybe that it's been too long, right? But the ace of wands here with their with their true intentions, I do feel like they do want another opportunity. I feel like they do want to kind of spark things back up here. And their action is the knight of pentacles here. So they, you could be dealing with another Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that you also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have Sagittarius here twice. You have Pisces here as well. Um, you have Leo here twice as well. So there could definitely be, um, a, looks like fire and earth to me, maybe water here with that, with that Pisces energy. But to me, it does kind of feel like 
they've just they're just taking a while to figure things out but you have intuitively felt them coming towards you and you guys were right because they are coming towards you still slowly but coming so tell me about this nine of cups energy and you've been missing them you've been missing them the eight of wands in reverse it's been hard for you not to communicate with this person it's been hard for you not talking to them it's like you know, when something good happens, you want to tell them. When something bad happens, there's a person you want to talk to. It's been, it's not been easy for you. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles energy. The Knight of Swords in the reverse. I feel like you didn't want to, you wanted them to be the one to reach out, though. And especially after what whatever's happened here between the two of you, it's like you felt like that's that's just how it had to be. And they've taken a really long time to communicate here with that Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about this temperance in the reverse, the four of cups in the reverse. You're ready to come out of this period. It's like you're really getting impatient. You, you're ready for them to open up to you. You're ready to open up to them. It's like your your heart is, is ready. Tell me about this two of swords, the full card. Indecisive whether you should just take that chance and just go for it. The chariot. So you, I really, in temperance card, you know, you are getting what you want here and your, it has just taken a long time, but you guys knew, you guys always knew, you guys always knew. Even if you had your doubts, you knew. Tell me about this queen of wands. You got the ten of swords in the reverse. They do not want this to be over. They recognize what their happiness is now. They do recognize that there was a lot of stuff that got drug out a lot longer than it needed to though. Temperance in the reverse, seven of cups in the reverse. They're, now they're starting to see things clearly. They're seeing through the illusions. They're seeing what is really going to make them happy. The thing is with the seven of cups here, you know, that can be, a, it's cloudy. It's confusing. There's a lot of options. And it's like not knowing what you want, not knowing what's best. With it coming up in reverse, I feel like they're finally seeing that. That's exactly what we were talking about. Maybe before they didn't realize what, what really was going to make them happy, what that really looks like for them, what they really wanted, and what they really valued. And I feel like that's what they're seeing clearly now. The King of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, they weren't taking this, they weren't committed to this connection in the past the way that they needed to. They weren't taking it seriously in the way that they needed to. And they're really seeing how that caused a lot of the issues um, that you guys had here. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. The Five of Swords. There could have been a lot of conflict, a lot of drama. They could have been mentally conflicted about how to how to respark things back up. But the six of swords, so they move out of that energy pretty quickly. So if they were very conflicted, it's like now they're they're ready to move past that. They could have come up with a solution. They're ready to move towards a different um, like a different chapter. Tell me about this knight of <laughs> tell me about this knight of wands. We have the three of pentacles. This knight. Of pentacles we have the three of pentacles so ready to work on things ready to build something solid well ready to start to get along ready to start to work on something together the four of wands so you're going through about three to a four and the four of wands is reaching a goal a finish line an accomplishment a celebration a union some of you guys this could be a twin flame connection as well and like i said you guys always knew that this was that this person was going to come around that these per this person was going to have these realizations that is what I have for you guys. If it resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, then just check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, or Patreon, all of that is in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through it and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light. Until next time.